And then the videos that did well, I would um, basically kind of view that again and be like, okay, this did really well. Let's recreate this video and do it again, right? So I really looked at the analytics behind everything, especially as I was trying to just kind of figure everything out. Um, and that was a secret, right? You have a long form YouTube video, um, especially what I'm doing right now with, with the channel is that every video, 30, 30 seconds to 60 seconds or 30 seconds or less YouTube short. And then after that, I would post that all on YouTube. Realized that was a great strategy. After I kind of realized that this was a great strategy, I was like, okay, let me scale this some more. So for the longer videos that are like very, very long, like and 30 minutes to an hour long that I do make, I will turn that into clips, right? The cool thing about Opus.pro is that you have clips. And in these clips, you can like have the AI or the algorithm or the AI Opus.pro turn your video from a 30, 30 minute video to a three minute to five minute video. So you will have like seven clips for that one long form video and you have more content there. So you're getting that one 30 minute video is freaking crazy guys. That one 30 minute video will turn to like seven long form clips and then like 15 to 20 um, short form clips. And then what you can do again is you can run it through the opus.pro again and then post it again because it would take different clips from the from your video and you have more content, right? And then what I do is like for the shorts, I'll just post all of them, right? And then for the clips, what I'll do is like, I'll create, I'll use the original thumbnail for that long 30 minute video and then just add like new small details to it. So that way it's like, oh, there's, there, the people can tell this is a clip and has like more details to it. And that's been working for me. I grew my channel. Like, I think right now we're at 3,600 subs on the Angel Carl channel, which is like strictly Tesla focus. I think it's gonna keep growing more and more and more because we're getting like a quarter of a million views every 28 days, which is crazy. That's a form combination of shorts and long form video. And YouTube, if they see you posting consistently, they will push more traffic to your channel, to your page, because, because they know that you're a consistent poster. They know that, okay, this person, we can trust them. They're gonna keep posting. We'll make more money from this content creator. And then we wanna promote their stuff more. Think of it as like Sam Solik. Sam Solik, is probably one of the fastest growing YouTube creators right now. And he did this because he doesn't have much editing, but he'll do really, really long videos. And then he'll consistently post every day. YouTube saw people were reacting really well to his content. So they'll keep like pushing the algorithm towards his content, right? You gotta realize Alphabet, Google, it's a business, okay? So the more you post, the more you kind of show who you are to YouTube, to Google, to Alphabet, the more likely they're to, um, to promote your content, okay? So I was at, I, I, I always thought to myself, I was like, okay, right? If I was a business owner and I am having people like come to my business, affiliate market, create content for me, who would I wanna promote the most? I would want to promote and give the most traffic to the people who are consistent, to the people who are posting every day, who are always having you, um, who are always like pressing play, uploading the video, editing, making a great thumbnail, doing it every day consistently, right? I will show your content to more people because you're consistent with it, right? And then once you're extremely successful, once you have like a million subs, once you have like two million subs, then you can take your foot off a break a bit, right? But for those of you who are kind of like coming up through the grind right now, trying to figure everything out, you need to post every day. Um, for me, that every day is just Monday to Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'll have like the AI, um, look at my old clips, turn it into YouTube shorts or like shorter clips and, and I'll post that, right? I don't make content every day, but the days I do make content like Monday to Friday, I will post that every day. So that's how I kind of became consistent. That's how I started making $250 or 266 to be precise um, during that past month of YouTube. And I think it's gonna go up more because that past month of YouTube was what, April? And the when I'm filming this right now, it's, it's like May. And the thing is with, when, when, you're, when you're filming content, 
YouTube has seasons, right? And the reason they have seasons is because I learned this at YouTube, I learned this at Google, is that they have seasons where advertisers spend more money.